Let's take our Bibles to Jeremiah 24, verse number 6 this morning for promise number 102. 102. And when we're in Jeremiah 24, I think you're going to notice this right away. There's, there's more than one promise being made in this verse, but it's really the same promise repeated in different ways so you could understand uh, what God's general plan is. In fact, listen to the promise. I will build you up, not pull you down. Uh, God's promise to you is that he is building you up. And you might be saying, well, that last situation I went through, it wasn't so wonderful. It felt like I was being uh, torn down. It didn't feel like I was being built up. And and that's because it, it requires faith to trust that Lord is the Lord is building something that maybe our flesh or maybe our upbringing didn't push us in that direction towards and he has to correct our direction or or enlarge our vision or things like that so listen to what he says in the verse because remember jeremiah the book of jeremiah is to a people that have been disobedient to the lord in multiple ways <clears throat> and this is a time where he gets to say that if you'll just do what i ask you to do i'll build you up i'm not going to tear you down and so, so listen to the verse, and I think you'll hear it. Verse number six, it says, For I will set my eyes upon thee for good, and I will bring them again to this land, and I will build them and not pull them down, and I will plant them and not pluck them up. Uh, because of their disobedience, he already had to allow them to be torn down. Because of their disobedience, he had to allow them to be taken into captivity. Uh, because of their disobedience, he had to allow them to get what they didn't want and they but but they actually deserved so that they would come to their senses and when he called out to them they'd be ready to to jump in and be wholeheartedly with him many believers today struggle with the idea that surrendering our entire lives to him would be a good thing there are people still chasing so many other things instead of god and then they freak out when it doesn't go perfectly as as they have planned it and mainly that's because they're running their plans and they have no part of their life that is devoted to his plans. And his plans are going to build us up. Our plans are usually the ones that lead to the tear down. So if you're experiencing a tear down right now, it's either because God is correcting your direction or it's because you're on your own plan and your plan is leading to this tear down. So I hope that helps that you would understand that God has great plans for you. They may not be the plans you would choose, but they are the best plans for him to use you in a way that will make a difference. Have a great day.